Okay. All right. So the left hand one before, right hand one is your after there. Okay. As I said, in both cases, setup's looking good now. We're getting a nice kind of tilt with the shoulder. All that routine and stuff we discussed last time is good. Okay. As you're going back here now, there's not really much of recentering before that club comes down. So yeah. here now, it's quite a lot of weight on that right side. You can almost see your foot there rolling on the outside there as you go back. So there's a lot of weight now. The weight should be on the inside? Should be on the inside that foot. And when the club gets up to the sort of top of the back swing, the weight should be moving already towards yeah. that front foot, okay? Yeah. Yours doesn't come down. Now it starts trying to move down here in the downswing, but the speed of your arms as they get to about hip height now start throwing you back. There's your impact, as you can see. Your hands now impact are behind the golf ball, yeah? yeah? Your body's behind the ball. Your hands are very much by your right leg. Nothing's really got to that left side yeah, at you're all. all. You're, you're hitting back body. on the ball. You're, you're hitting the ground yeah, first. The body you're hitting up on the ball. You're slapping it. You're towing it. You're coming across the ball. All of the above, okay? So you need to feel the feeling, obviously, this resetting. When you get to about here, you've almost got to start moving left a little bit early before you start coming down. And then from here, fling that club. So there's the impact you would have been there. See your hands now by your left leg and then fling that club over the shoulder there. <clears throat> this is obviously a practice swing, but look at the difference in that arm tucked up and bending here now and then that recoil there. I mean, there's no kind of, it's all in one motion, yeah? yeah. And that's how far the club gets. This toe's barely moved through the knees and that sort of yeah, trying yeah. to get, look flat, at the difference yeah, in that. Flat, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is a different goal for altogether, yeah. isn't it, okay? Now again, as we said, physically you can get there. <clears throat> It's then doing it in practice. If you didn't finish off here and you unwind like that now, that's fine because you've actually got yourself around the corner. It's when you have to uncall because you're just stretching your arms around and you can't get there, okay? So then we make the sort of practice thing, that recentering a bit more if we can do that sensation of moving to the left. There again's impact. You can see your hands now. There would be your hands roughly impact ahead of the ball. It's going to give you a much better launch angle, more powerful yeah, loft. Exactly, yeah. And then swinging through to there. And then you know, and then we set the golf ball. Okay, same good back swing. Starting to recenter a little bit there. Could go a little bit earlier. There, oh, back oh, of frame. Yeah. There's impact just between there. Okay, I can stop it. There you go. Ah, come here. There's impact. So your hands are nearer your front leg compared to that one there. Mm. So you're at least they're at the sort of middle of your legs where this one is definitely on your on your back leg there. Okay, you're starting to move a bit more to the left side. <coughs> Then when you finish through, look at that follow through compared to that one there. Okay, so you're getting that club around your body. I say if after there now, when you stay there now, it's fine. If you did from here, uncoiled the club back to here, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah Annika was. If, if it's got you. you you've got to get to there. Well, that's the thing. You're always going to be like. Mm. I think the reason, the thing is, I think it's become a habit based on having to happen yeah you there's no way you can keep that club round here it's just, it's just too much of a stretch yeah it's yeah. just like your arms have been pulled so taking your arms and pulling them around yeah. here and you're like well, that hurts so you just recoil back to where it feels more comfortable but you've done it for so many years it's becoming a habit yeah and it's hard then to obviously adjust to that okay i think the feeling for you is saying to summarize into two words recenter i guess there's maybe two words but recenter and from here now fling and release that club like you're swinging that stick and when yeah, you did that still, if you get that flick staying. Back on that. A little bit on the back yeah. foot, yeah, exactly. And that's why yeah. the re the thing is moving the body differently and swinging the club differently do take a little bit more practice yeah. as opposed to just standing the ball differently. Yeah. Your setup from last time to this time now is miles times better. So at least you're in a position where you can move better, but you've got to you know put the practice in. So I'm going to try and get one of those sort of seesaws there, where you can sort of you can rock mm. back and forth and get that sensation. So as the club starts moving past sort of like eight o'clock, nine o'clock to ten, as you get to about here now, you're going to start moving your weight. Going on the other leg. It's got to start moving this way now, down towards that front foot, okay? It kind of moves there, but just, if it's it does happen... It's moving too late. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's moving too late, so there's the arms create speed, the body now has to sort of stall and stop, yeah? yeah? And that's why you can't get on that left side quick enough, okay? Then when you swing through, the arms are certainly hinging, there's, less, there's no chicken wingy there, is there? No. And the club's finishing over here, so it's a much better movement and more fling. It's now for you to find the ball, find that sweet spot with practice. And obviously your body now has to move in a slightly different position, okay? Yeah. It's going to be practice. A good drill you can practice. We'll show you in a second here now, okay? Make some swings with no club up against a wall. As your arms start going there, you start trying to oh, bump into the wall, yeah. yeah. Try and bump, try, almost try, just try, and, up just try and bump into the wall with your shoulder yeah. and your hips, yeah? <laughs> you actually start moving into the wall. So as your arms start coming down to here, 
you're effectively on the wall with your top half. You can see there's a bit of a gap there now because the club yeah. is a bit of a gap away from your feet, in fairness. Yeah, yeah, but, I, I, but you I, haven't... Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's going to be a little bit of lean to the back foot slightly, mm. but we need just to have these things a bit more over there rather than so far back this way because that's going to cause that club to bottom out early. Mm. This time of year, you're hitting a lot of flat shots, yeah. and thin shots and pull shots, yeah? Okay, that yeah, kind of makes sense, and yeah? Brilliant. Excellent, good stuff.